What's going on, guys? Uh, we have another video for you guys, What's and uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say, but uh, we're starting off with uh, I'm back. Pentagram slash back again. Mezar Kabul lines in a back. cage. Uh, we haven't done a metal one. I usually I like to save the metal and uh, non rap stuff with Evan, just because uh, I think you guys like it, or you guys find it more enjoyable when Evan's kind of more in in, in these uh, videos and these genres. So. Uh, I saved these videos to include Evan, and so thanks, bro. That's what we have here today, thanks and so much, uh, bro. yeah, Pentagram Mezar Kabul lines in a cage live video from 2007. What's Mezar Kabul? I think that's another band. Another band. It's, it's like, a, like a little medley. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, Six cool, minute cool, cool. song. That's crazy. Is there English sub? Wow, there is English subs. Okay. Get out of town. I didn't even notice. That. Here we go. And this is a live performance. Yeah, it is. Yes, that's what I just said. Oh, is it? Oh, my bad. No, I'm going to Yeah, this is like, I don't know, I find it like old school metal. Oh, it's in English anyways. Six, eight timing? I'm cool. not sure, bro. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I'm pretty sure the last time we did a video, they were in six, eight, two, actually. I don't know, this reminds me of like typical Metallica ACDC, yep. you know? That's like my least favorite type of metal. Time signature changes, bro. Uh huh. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, two, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Impressive. Is it? Yes. Technically? It's actually pretty impressive. Like a lot like a lot of impressive. A lot more impressive than Shedno. A lot more impressive than you would think. Yeah, see I don't I don't see I don't like I just don't see that, but Evan is just like magnetized to it. That's absolutely insane right there, what they just did. I thought that. I don't know. I don't know how Evan sees all this, but they go. They go back and forth. If you if we go back to the the little guitar. Oh, so they're like switching. No, they're playing. They're they're both playing. But all I'm saying is the video. You see this guy. He's playing the lead. That guy's playing a harmony. He's playing a lead. He's playing a harmony. So they're playing. Essentially, they're playing like the same solo but one guy is playing this note and another guy's playing a separate note that is harmonizing with this note meaning he they're playing separate notes but they're each melodically doing the same thing but one guy's here one guy's here so boom it's mm -hmm. it's just basically a harmony but the fact that they're both doing it together in sync but a different and, but notes. a different notes it makes it sound cooler so I try just try and listen to the you'll hear the um, solo but try and try and differentiate between the two different notes that they're okay. playing I will try you see what I'm saying no guarantee because you hear 
do 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 and you'll hear it's it, it, i don't know if that makes sense. same melody but different tone different different notes yeah but it'll to me, you'll, yeah, you'll yeah. be able to differ differentiate the two different notes that they're playing but they're playing the same thing yeah that doesn't make that doesn't make sense but um, yeah, I'm gonna have to like like close my eyes and like just focus on the music itself. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Has it happened? Yeah, it was happening the whole time. I hear that. Okay. I'm just okay. not that musically inclined. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. I feel so inferior to having right now. Counting the, uh, the beats. They have like what? Two guitarists, one bassist. There's or are they two, all three there's guitarists? Two guitarists. There's a, there's at least two guitarists and a bassist. Wouldn't be surprised if there was a third guitarist playing just the the drum. Just the melody. Drum. I think it's two guitarists, one, one lead, one, what is it, not backup, but... I mean, pretty cool. I think I can definitely see the... The, the other two rock songs that we listened to not mm -hmm. too long ago, I can definitely see this as more, just requires a little bit more, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, nice fill. It just... Easy? Like you notice that it takes a little bit more talent, but I don't want to say talent because I'm yeah. sure those guys have talent as right. well. Right, right, right. It's it's all. I mean, these guys practice this particular thing over and over and it's over just, and over again, and the other bands practice their particular niche over and over and over again. You know, if you go over and over and over again, and that's going to be easy to you. I feel like it's a little bit more puzzling. If that makes sense. Like, it's I would a little say, bit more like. I would say it's more technically difficult. It's harder to do this. The, if we're talking about guitar sure. and we're talking about yeah. drums. Yeah, yeah. It's harder to do this than it is the other stuff. But this is what they do every day. So they make it. That's what they're focusing on. They make it seem easy. They make it seem easy. Because it's what they do every day. What they practice on, what they focus on, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's there was a board I'm looking for, but it'd be I, like I a baseball can't. player can throw a football, right? Mm -hmm. Just because you're an you're an athlete, right? But to to pitch a baseball 95 miles an hour, and for a, a, a pro football player to throw a, a fade down the sidelines, a pitcher's not going to be able to throw a fade, and a quarterback's not going to be able to throw a 95 mile an hour fastball. Mm -hmm. They are both great at what they do. Because they practice separate things, but they're both athletes. Sure. I understand what you're saying. I'm just it's a, there's it, there's a specific word that would like really help me define what I was trying to mention, trying to describe them as, but I just sure I just couldn't find it. So, but um, I, I I don't know. Maybe just more technically inclined to just like yeah, someone who. Is a let's say a mechanic like a junior mechanic versus someone who is a senior mechanic. You know, they sure, just, they sure. know their stuff. They know like kind of like I don't know. I don't know. I'm just whatever. It doesn't matter. No, I I, I hear what you're saying, but it, I mean, 
yes and no. It'd be like a diesel mechanic versus a regular mechanic. That's how I. That's how I do. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. They're I, both mechanics. I'm still terribly and, trying. I'm still terrible at trying to <laughs> trying to define. describe what you yeah. want to say. Yeah, um, I'll let you go first as well. Well, again. I'll just talk. All I want to say is, again, like this is not necessarily a song or like a band that I would just listen to all the time, just casually, or like the like this particular like sound of metal. Mm-hmm. But if I'm sitting here analyzing it and talking about it, which is what we're doing here in these videos, I I love it. It's hundred percent. It's it's extremely difficult to. If you're talking about music, there there are beats, right? So you generally hundred generally eighty five percent of the time you're thinking one two three four one two three four. It is not easy for an entire band to go from two different time signatures back and forth. And that's what they were doing. One, mm-hmm. two, three, mm-hmm. four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, okay, four. Okay, yeah. So that's what they were doing the whole time. Back and forth, back and forth between those different time signatures. And then just to have the, you know, the soloists being able to play that almost impeccably perfect between the two of them and having those two separate notes come through so perfectly like they did in a solo that was um, difficult. I mean, they were sliding, they were they were pulling off, doing things like that on the guitar that, I mean, you really have to be together perfect for those things to sound good, and they really did. So, I like mean, you have to have a lot of chemistry with the uh, other other guitars. They've they'd ha- they've practiced that yeah. quite a few times, <clears throat> and so technically speaking, and like just if I'm just listening to the song and appreciating what they're doing, absolutely cool, mm-hmm. crazy cool, loved it, loved every second. It's just I'm just saying for me, almost like you were saying with in the rock category, like I wouldn't listen to this song mm-hmm. over and over again. Sure. But because we are, I'm thankful that we did because it was a cool song. But I probably won't go back and like listen to it again. But they just technically yeah. speaking, they yeah, were yeah, super. Yeah, yeah. It was super cool. Super technically cool. impressive, but not something you would be like casually listening. To. Yeah. I mean, you would listen to it if it was just like playing in the background sure. or whatever. But you wouldn't like go out of your way. But to it's not. Gonna, I'm not gonna be like, dude, yo, Alex, this "Lions in a Cage" pentagram song. You gotta listen to it. I think you would to certain types of people who you're talking to. Oh, if I yeah, if I'm talking to but some me, if I'm talking know. to some buds who like if I can describe to them what I'm yeah. trying to describe now and be like, "Yo, like maybe I might call my brother and be like, "Yo, bro, you got to listen to this song cuz there's some pretty cool stuff that they do in it." Yeah. He'll and he'll call me back and say, "Yo, I listened to it. You're that yeah, that's pretty dope." But I guess there's a, I guess there's a difference between uh listen to songs casually yeah, yeah, shout out Eric. Shout out Eric. What's up, Eric? Uh, I think there's a difference between listening to a song for like just casually and enjoyment, at, at, like as is, versus listening to it and trying to analyze the technicalities and kind of the um, just like looking at the musical terminology and stuff like that. Sure. So, um, and I think that's the beauty of what we're doing right now is like. We all have our musical preferences, mm-hmm. right? We all have what we like to listen oh, to God. and why we like to listen to it. But the but the reason we're doing this now is because we're reacting to music. True. You can it's react just... to it and you can talk about different, you know, intricacies of hip hop and rap. Uh-huh. And like I'm talking about this right now. Yeah. And I'll be like, Yeah, dude. That's so cool. Like, what? But I don't get it. Sure. Like, you get it. You're yeah. like, oh man, this guy's flow or this guy's the way he said this. You don't get it because it's he's you know calling this guy out or whatever. It's the kind of the same thing that what I'm doing right yeah, now. I'm so lost to about eighty mm-hmm. percent of what you said. But, uh, but what I'm saying is that's the great thing about what we're doing. Like, we're sure. just lit- sit- lit- sitting here listening to music, and if you have something that stands out to you, 
super cool. If I have my yeah. name that stands out to me, that, that's that's all I'm doing. I just, uh, I, I want to save this to the end, but I guess I have to say it now before I forget. But, like, um, this is, this not only applies to this video or, or this genre of music, but it's, like, things you enjoy, you can talk a lot about. Mm -hmm. You can... Uh, express yourself and kind of you know talk about a lot more things that you like a lot more mm -hmm. and like i said in before videos dude I, I i love rock music i love metal music but it's not something where i can really express like i can't i can't talk much about it just because i'm not well versed in it i'm not as much as like evan for example like he gets all the music terminology in there and stuff like that i'm like i'm to me, it's more rock and, and, and uh, metal music and whatever you want to call it. To me, it's more like, do I like the way it sounds? Do I like the lyrics? Do I like both? Do I like neither? It's like, how does it make me feel? Does it make me feel nice, sad, whatever? And like, back to the other videos, it's like, the more, the, the way it, it stirs up your emotions is, I think, the most effective way a music can be good or bad to you personally. So... Mm -hmm. Um, and with that being said, this one was cool. Um, I don't hate it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to save it on my Spotify playlist. And so, yep. yep. And like I mentioned very early in the beginning of the video, it's more like a, like this, uh, what is it, Metallica, ACDC, mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. type of era. It just I, doesn't slap for you. No, it's just, it's not busting, bro. <laughs> it's not busting for me, so. Um... <laughs> I, and I guess to me personally, there's a difference between a song that I hate and don't find good versus a song that I don't like because it's a little bit out of my taste. Sure. Um, and some people don't realize that I find that uh, to be a difference. Any last comments? Let's keep it short because we we'll probably we'll got, another, Do we have another song to do? Yeah, no? that was okay, only yeah. one song. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's do another You good? One. What would you rate yeah, it? I'd give it, technically speaking... If I'm sitting here listening to it, analyzing it, it gets a nine. But for me, like as a whole, as song, just enjoying it, whole just song, like casually enjoying enjoying it over it, it gets like an, it gets an eight, <laughs> seven, five, eight. I would give this like a six, six and a half. Yep. Both on every level. <laughs> <laughs> Both on every level. I, I I hate that I could I like <laughs> with the lyrics. Like I, I understand the words and stuff, but like I. I'm sorry, guys. I wasn't like looking out for the meaning and stuff like that. So because I was too busy listening to the music. Right. So. <laughs> um, right. Yeah, but uh, like Where I said we again, here? we we enjoy the just the, the the exploring of it in the first place. And this is uh, next up. We have Murder King. Ooh, Murder, Murder King. I do remember these guys. I think they're a little bit more heavier. I don't know if I've ever listened to them. I think you did. I don't know. But whatever. This is the video. Ooh. Uh, I love medical, for example. Ooh. This is reminding me so far. <laughs> yeah, see, this uh, is so like a little bit more. This is dope. You gotta practice. Ah. Oh yeah. This only has like. 58,000 views. Is this live now? No, this is just the official video. Oh. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, a necklace guitar? That's kind of weird. Okay. For for metal? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is this is up, up my alley. Even though I still don't understand the technicality of it, it just sounds more pleasing to me. Ooh, six string bass. That's deep for metal. Deep, bro. Can I, I'll just say that's impressive that he's playing guitar and screaming at the same time. Sure. I don't know. That's but a, yeah. That's a, you don't generally see that. True. You usually see just, just vocals, a screamer, yeah. and then or a vocalist who sings. He'll play guitar, but not the screamer. I don't like his guitar. It looks the camel weird. one? <laughs> no, the one with no neck on it. Mm. 
you're more into like pop metal, right? No, this is this is this is this is right this up your alley okay for me. Just okay? No, I mean no. Right. I'll I'll tell you this. After the video. Yeah. So he's like the lead yep. guitarist, and then you have like the rhythm he's, guitar in the back, no, right? No, he's rhythm guitar. No, oh, he is. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's just playing the chords. That makes sense. We'll probably take too you much. You hear the? I can't. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah, lead. yeah. That's your lead guitar. This is the heavy shit I like. Yep. He is the lead. Well, he's playing lead stuff now. It probably transitioned over. Yeah, that's impressive. Or swapped, sorry. Was a better word. Dang, homie. A lot going on there, Dude, huh? Murder King's got some stuff, bro. They do have some stuff. They got some stuff couple going guitars, on guitars, a couple drums here and there. Yeah, I don't even care what the lyrics are at this point. I'm just enjoying the sound. Wait, you got a uh, double ba uh, double bass pedal? Um, if he doesn't, yeah. <laughs> if he doesn't, it's very impressive. Yeah, yeah there's, no, there's absolutely no way he doesn't have one. <laughs> uh, that was quick, bro. Yeah, it was. Dude, that slaps, bro. I, I, man, that felt like 30 seconds. <laughs> I was enjoying that. It's impressive. They got some serious, they got some yeah. serious talent in that whole band. That whole thing was. Do you want to cool. maybe speak on some some te technical details? If I mean, there's any. not really. No, I ain't got I ain't got nothing technical it just, for that. It was like just was, great, yeah. just good, really just, good. Just a, just a good listen. Very enjoyable listen. Yeah. Just a great listen. I agree. Uh, I mean, I was surprised. I there. I mean, I guess if I were to talk about one thing. I was very surprised that the lead singer not only played the guitar mm -hmm. or the screamer, I, would, I call him a screamer, Sure. played the guitar, but then he freaking lit up that solo. Like, he's not just a guitar player that's just there to, you know, play the standard. He was ripping like, it up, dude. He was taking lead. He, yeah. he had some serious ability on the guitar. That's impressive. Well, not just guitar, just but being a, a musician, both in like the vocal section. And right, right, the, right. The there's guitar, a lot yeah. of timing and there's a lot of uh, rhythm that has to go into both of those things, being able to play and sing at the same time. So that was pretty neat. Yeah. Um, like I said, this is more up my alley. The heavier, the, the better. Uh, more aggressive, I like. Mm -hmm. And to me, I might give this like an eight and a half, nine. All right, I'll, I'll stick to eight and a half. I need a little bit more. I, I really love when uh, metal bands introduce electronic influences and uh, combine that. Yes. That's where I'm like, oh, that's just beautiful to me. Yes. Um, for example, the branding, that's like my top probably metal band out there. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to go back to eight, eight and a half. That's what I'm going to give the square. I just, I enjoyed it. Like, I it was so, to me, it was really good that I... I didn't believe it was like three minutes. Yeah. It felt like really short, like 45 seconds or so. Um, yeah. I'll give it an yeah. eight and a half. Two. As yeah, well. for sure. When you were saying earlier, it was like, you don't, I don't like this. I don't like like squealing, like the, Those, the like pig, pig snorting. Noise. Yeah. I'm not like that. I don't like that kind of metal. This is, this is just metal to mm -hmm. me. This isn't. Uh, you know, metal core or, you know, hardcore metal. This is, that's metal. You, you, screaming. You don't like that. Like the death metal. metal and black metal. I just don't like the, you know, yeah, like where, where <laughs> they make noises you can't comprehend or don't understand. I, don't know. I like I, I, this. Yeah. He screamed. If I really listened to it, I would be, under, be able to understand what he was saying. I do like the more modern metal, pop metal, if that's what people want to call it, where there's singing in it mm -hmm. and, and screaming. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, cool techniques that they do in those sure. kind of musics too with music and stuff. But no, that by 
by all means, that is something I would put on if I was sitting in traffic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like if, if yeah. I was frustrated with traffic or whatever, and that's a song that I would I would slap on there. Yeah, I, eight eight point five minimum for me. Sure, Loved sure. It. Um, yeah, guys, uh, I don't have much else to say. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep commenting, keep suggesting songs. Um, like and subscribe, I'll, I'll, baby. Sure. If like and subscribe, baby. Let's go. If you uh, if you guys liked uh, these duo videos with me and Evan, just uh, let me know in the comments. And it's hard, but uh, we try to accommodate and just trying to. Hey, we keep uh, popping them out. At, uh, slow, slow and steady wins the race. As many videos, I try to do as many videos with Evan as we can. But we're yep. busy men, so yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoy that, and we'll see you guys in the next one.